probably one of my earliest writing memories, as embarrassing as it is, pertains to poetry. I'm the world's worst poet, and probably the earliest thing that I wrote that meant something to me was just this broken-hearted love poetry. It was like the worst high school poetry you could imagine, and then imagine crushing up those stale little chalky Valentine hearts and sprinkling them all over this horrible poetry. That's what I was writing. It was important to me, um, probably wasn't important to anyone else, but I did it and I kind of fess up to it. <laughs> uh, actually, my wife found it in the attic and then put it together in a little chat book for me and I wanted to burn them immediately. <laughs> I wanted to give those books a Viking funeral. Typically, it's at home at my desk with a cup of coffee, my dog's at my feet. Um, I'm wearing usually Batman pajamas and a Mariner's hoodie. Every writer is also a part-time fashion criminal, and I cop to that entirely. I have a rather unique uh, story in that I met my wife at that hotbed of swinging singles activity known as the public library. It was just the normal library night. It wasn't singles night at the library. It wasn't wet t-shirt night at the library. I wasn't hanging out in the 300 section just hitting on women that cruise by and if you don't remember your Dewey Decimal System, the 300s are human sexuality. It was just a library and it's a great place to meet people.